In this video, I want to show you how to create the gravity minimized positioning for manual muscle testing of the wrist muscles, that is the carpi muscles. First, let's just look at the wrist and the motions that it makes. So here we have my hand, and then we have on this card labeled the cardinal plane motions, and then also the motions for each of the individual wrist muscles. So as you can see here, my wrist can extend, or it can flex, or ulnarly deviate, or radially deviate. Okay. Between each of those cardinal plane motions, there are then individual muscle motions as well. And you'll notice that all of the wrist muscles actually act uh, in an oblique direction between the cardinal planes. So extensor carpi radialis brevis and extensor carpi radialis longus, for example, will pull the hand in that direction. Extensor carpi ulnaris will pull the hand in that direction. Flexor carpi radialis will pull the hand in that direction, and flexor carpi ulnaris will pull the hand in that direction. So in order to make those gravity minimized, we simply need to get those movements parallel to the floor. To get extensor carpi ulnaris and flexor carpi radialis parallel to the floor, if you look at their directions of pull here that I've labeled on the card, all we have to do is to rotate the forearm a little bit, basically halfway between pronation and neutral, and now you'll see that those lines for the direction of pull for extensor carpi ulnaris and flexor carpi radialis are parallel to the floor. So if I move in the direction of flexor carpi radialis, I'm moving in a direction that's parallel to the floor. If I move in the direction of extensor carpi ulnaris, I move in a direction that's parallel to the floor. In order to get the um, direction of pull for extensor carpi radialis brevis and longus, and also flexor carpi ulnaris parallel to the floor, I just have to keep rotating my forearm about another 90 degrees, so I'm kind of halfway between uh, fully supinated and neutral. And when I'm kind of halfway between, now you can see that the flexor carpi ulnaris is now parallel to the floor, and the direction of pull for extensor carpi radialis brevis and longus are now parallel to the floor. So just by rotating the forearm that way, we can make each of those five wrist muscles uh, have their movement be parallel to the floor and thus gravity minimized for manual muscle testing. There are also other ways to make those movements of the individual wrist muscles parallel to the floor. One way would it be to have your client actually lean their whole trunk over and now you can see we have ECU or FCR parallel to the floor. Could do that by having them um, sit on a mat table and then lean on uh, an inclined headrest on the mat table. Uh, another way to get uh, the motions for these individual wrist muscles parallel to the floor would be to abduct the uh, glenohumeral joint. And now you can see with my glenohumeral joint abducted uh, to 45 degrees and my forearm pronated, that FCU and ECRB and ECRL, those motions are now parallel to the floor.